According to the Bank Serve Index, not even the pre-election spending of political parties could put some momentum back into the economy. The 0.2% growth showed one of the smallest changes in economic activity in April. At the same time, the economy continues to take a beating from the strike in the platinum sector. On top of this, high consumer debt levels and the inability to create new jobs pose an increased risk of negative growth. The economy has come down to a crawl. And it's really crawling along. And obviously things like the strike action and uh, uh, other aspects in the economy, there's no decisions being made before the elections. That really hampered stuff. In the same month, confidence amongst businesses did not change. But it's the new government that companies will set their sights on. Saki says although there are no signs that the elections affected business confidence negatively, it says the policy direction of the new government will have an impact. Business will be looking very attentively, very keenly to how the government now reacts to the business environment. We expect very strong pro-business legislation to come out very shortly and be enacted shortly thereafter. We found the previous five years uh, under the last government fairly difficult to contend with, both from the point of view of economic circumstances domestically and internationally, but also from the point of view of regulations in the local environment. Saiki says the business climate and business response are to a large degree dependent on implementation of the National Development Plan and sound public sector management as well as accountability. Diabo Seto, SABC News, Johannesburg.